Our current hardware architectures are not fit for a world of ML, machine learning and homomorphic encryption. So where did our internal architectures for CPUs come from? Well, it was Intel who laid out the first microprocessor, the Intel 4004. This was a 4-bit microprocessor. It had internal registers that we loaded data from memory into and then processed these registers back to get a result. The result was then put back in memory. The assembly language code that we used were simple things such as add, subtract, multiply and divide and so on. This has basically scaled to give us general purpose computing and where the registers have expanded to 64 bits and much of the internal workings of the CPU have stayed much the same. But in a world of machine learning and homomorphic encryption, we typically need a high level abstraction in the operations that we perform, especially for vector and matrix multiplication. And this should happen in hardware and not within software. For a CPU to multiply two matrices together involves a great deal of code and which could be more efficiently computed with more specialised hardware that is optimised for operating on matrices. This includes matrix multiplication, finding the inverse of a matrix and producing a dot product. And so it was NVIDIA who spotted a gap in the market for devices which could scale video graphics calculations and which thrived on matrix calculations into machine learning and homomorphic encryption applications as these typically involve vector and matrix multiple operations. One of the core operations that we have is to use the dot product of two vectors and where we have, say, an activation vector and a weighted vector, the learned, the learned, the learned parameter. So let's take some examples. A vector of 1, 2, 3, a three-dimensional vector, and 3, 4, 5. We end up with a dot product, which is 1 times 3, plus 2 times 4, plus 3 times 5. That equals 26. For a four-dimensional vector, 5, 6, 7, 8, and another one of 3, 4, 5, 6, we end up with 5 times 3, 4 times 6, plus 7 times 5, plus 8 times 6. That gives us 122. In homomorphic encryption with machine learning, we can thus take these operations and make one of the vectors, such as the activation vector, and encrypt it, while the weighting vector can stay as a plain text vector. In the program that I've given in the associated web uh, page, we have V1 as an activation vector and V2 as a weighting vector. We can then encrypt V1 with a homomorphic public key and then take the dot product with the plain text version of V2. Conclusions. Our world of computer architectures is changing and there will be an increasing focus on GPUs in providing the process power that we need for machine learning and homomorphic encryption. What is likely that these devices will exist at the edge of the cloud and so when we need the processing requirement for machine learning and homomorphic encryption we will be able to use devices which will be at the edge of the cloud. Thank you.